guys, we are joined by my favourite animal in the world, the echidna. <laughs> Meet Dame. Dame is so cute. Look at that tongue. Look oh at my it. word. Dame is working hard. Look at your tongue go. Oh my gosh. Okay, so clearly I need to get on with more information about echidnas, but I just find them so fascinating. These guys are my favorite animals for a reason. They are extremely quirky. Echidnas are just fascinating. It's like someone took a little pillow, made it a pin cushion, popped a long nose on, little holes <laughs> they for have ears, backwards feet. Backwards feet. What yep. is happening? Whoever thought up the echidna was having a funny day that yes. day. But echidnas are so unique. They're unlike any other animal in the world. They're actually a member of the monotreme family, which means that they're an egg laying mammal but they also have a pouch as well. So they have an egg that hatches out in their pouch. And then when they're born, they're a little pink jelly bean without spines called a puggle. Oh my god. Which gosh. is probably just about the cutest name for a baby animal on the planet. Yes, it's like puddle with double G. And it's mean, adorable. Come on, so cute. <laughs> now what's interesting is these spines act as a predator to deterrent. Nothing wants to eat a pincushion, but they're actually made of keratin. So those spines are made out of the same material that makes up fingernails and hair. It's just really dense and really spiky, and nothing <laughs> really tongue. wants to eat them because of those spines. But look at that tongue. So you can see that tongue, they feed primarily on ants, termites, invertebrates. So what they do is they can sense out where in a log like this where there could be ants or termites, and they're surprisingly strong. They can break apart logs, dead timber, and get to those delicious bugs with that long tongue. They're Look at so that. funny. So they're incredibly robust animals. Like they, they are very soft and squishy on the bottom, <laughs> but then on top they're covered with those gorgeous, very pokey spines. Yes. <laughs> and it's interesting because a lot of people think that they you know, they kind of like shed those spines. They don't. They, they, when a predator comes along just like that, do you see how he pops up his little spines like that? So they don't actually come out into the animal because a lot of people um, compare them to... Porcupines. Yeah, yeah. porcupines. Where which... they can actually like leave their spines in something once they're stuck. A kidney doesn't really do that. It's more of a deterrent rather than like a true defense mechanism attacking something. So yeah. if, if you're an animal trying to snack on an echidna, as soon as you come along and try to take a bite, like that's not very comfortable. So it's a, actually a brilliant design, but on their tummy. <laughs> you're not an echidna. On their tummy, they're nice and soft. Oh my gosh. <laughs> but I think echidnas are so interesting because these guys, while they are incredibly quirky, they are such an Australian icon. Buddy. What are you doing? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Do you see him on my legs? <laughs> Actually, I should just say hi. Do you see her on my legs? Hi. What's happening? I'm, I'm not your ramp to food. I'm not your conduit well, you clearly to are. stealing food. It worked last time. How rude. Oh my goodness. So clearly when you come to Australia Zoo, you can get an, a, a kidney experience, a water, water dragon experience. Yep, the opportunities are endless, really. Endless. You know, we are just here to provide. <laughs> <laughs> what I was saying is echidnas are really Australian icons. You know, you hear about platypus as well. So platypus are monotremes, echidnas are monotremes. They're all part of that same family and they are incredibly unique. Oh, you are so beautiful and you've done so well with your you've food. You've done so good. I think it's incredible how much work they put into eating. So echidnas, they only have a very teeny tiny opening for their mouth, but they manage to slurp up thousands of ants or termites. It's absolutely incredible. So when you watch them work, when they're at an ant hill or something, often, because the little ants can be quite pinchy, they'll close their eyes and it almost looks like they're going into a food coma. So the little kidneys will close their eyes and the ants will just start pouring up their face. But they'll keep eating and their tongue just slurps ants. Like their whole tongue will turn just black with ants. And then they'll slurp and slurp and slurp. The ants are going everywhere. I would just get so irritated being bitten by that many ants. Oh, totally. But they are just in complete heaven. Sweetheart, are you gonna take more food? You gotta be a good I'm roommate. So naughty. Look at this. Oh my gosh, you're so be, naughty. Be <laughs> you gotta be gentle with the echidnas. Sorry, Dave. Oh my gosh, how rude. Um, <laughs> 
<laughs> as Dame has almost finished this delicious smorgasbord of insect paste. Insect paste. That's mm. a nice description, isn't it? You should be a food critic. Thank you. Thank yeah, you. That should be I, a nice I, I wrote the menus at Warrior Restaurant. <laughs> you clearly. Didn't. Don't worry. If you come to eat with us, you're safe. <laughs> but thank you so much for joining us today, for getting to meet beautiful Dame. Our echidnas are so incredibly special and they hold just such a special place in my heart. We, we, I mean, we've had echidnas here at Australia Zoo for so many years and just growing up, getting to experience these quirky animals has always felt like such a blessing. A yeah. huge shout out to our amazing team of keepers who work tirelessly to take care of our beautiful animals and make sure they have happy, healthy lives. It is such an honor to be able to share our animals with people from around the world so that you can experience just how beautiful and unique they really are. Our goal is to get these animals into your heart so you have a greater love and appreciation for the natural world. So it means a lot to us to be able to, to share our echidna and all of our animals at Australia Zoo. So thank you for taking this time to get to know little Dame and our cheeky water dragon who's gonna come back for fads. Look out. So naughty. Are you a little bit naughty? So naughty but sending lots of love from Australia Zoo. I hope you have a beautiful day, no matter where you are in the world. And um, <laughs> we're gonna go try to fend off a water dragon. Yes. From taking more food. Yep. Bye guys. Parenting. Parenting. <laughs> Read about it. <laughs> Read about it. <laughs>